Sorry. Right. Okay, go ahead. Hey, what I wanted this to do, I wanted this to speak what's up. I didn't want a lot of distractions with the different colors of breaking it up or blocks or making it real extreme abstract because it speaks, I, I wanted to speak for itself. It's not a piece that is supposed to be pretty, that's supposed to be cute. It's not supposed to be one of those things where you say, oh, I would love to match it up with my rug and my curtains. This right here is making a serious statement that either this guy is reaching out and asking for a hand out, or he's asking for a hand up. It depends on how you look at it. Either way, he can't do it for himself. So what is the, um, what does the, um the ladders and the uh, the padlock represent. All right, climbing up, moving beyond confinement, restriction, um, being locked down or locked in or locked out. What about the chain? How about the chain? The chain represent. Oh, basically the same thing. Chain has uh, uh, is, is, is obviously linked to. <laughs> confinement and restriction. Um, but the chain, I would want broken. Because I, at some point, this doesn't stay like this. At some point, because everything has its place and has its time. So it comes a time when all that bondage, all that confinement becomes a thing of the past. And the chain becomes broken. The important thing is that through all of this, the human being, the spirit, and the human being uh, is not broken. That it still remains human, humane. And although he's confined, and although he's restricted, he still believes in humanity. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't even be reaching out and expecting anything. Yeah. Okay.